First, you need to download the app. Go in the App Store. It's going to come up. You're going to need to search for it. Search Lose It. There it is. It's the second one down, Lose It Calorie Counter. Now, mine's already installed, so I'll hit Open, but it is free. I do not want to spend more. I don't need it. When it opens, it's going to start you out in the Goals tab. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to have to set up your profile. So I already had one, so I'm going to go and I'm going to hit New Program. And I'm going to type in the pounds I am today. And then I'm going to type in today and what my goal is. And then I'm going to add in my information of what I am. So that's how you do it. You just toggle it back and forth. There's my birthday. I'm old. And I want to lose one pound per week. It shows you the different dates that you'd be done, but I'd like June 25th, it's the day before my birthday. So then it says how many calories you need to burn. So there you go. That's where he says today's weight and how many days until goal. So today I'm gonna to put in my weight. You always wanna weigh in. You don't have to weigh in every day though. Once that's there, that you're gonna to go to log. So you're gonna log in and you're gonna see how much we're, how many calories we have. And obviously we have none. We're gonna go in to log and you're gonna see all the different areas where you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. You're gonna to add to the log. And we're gonna add breakfast because that's all I had today. So I'm gonna start typing in what I ate. So you go to the search bar and you can scan a food item with the barcode or you can type in what you did. Now I had coffee. And I found one that said coffee with skim milk, no sugar, which is what I have. Now you can also go into supermarket foods and type in the brand. So I had Danon Greek yogurt, the non-fat. So I go down and I find the one that I ate. You can type in to make it go faster. And so I know it was 80 calories. So there you go. I'm going to put one container and it's going to add. But I had more than that. So now I'm going to go back to foods and I want to, it's going to come up with some pop-ups sometimes and I do want to log every single time today. I think that's great. There's my meal summary so far, but I had more. So now we're going to go and we're going to add in the other foods. Now just to show you, oops, I added the wrong extra thing. If you mess up, you can swipe with your finger over and you can hit the delete button. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna add in more food. So I had some blueberries and there we go, blueberries. Click on that and you can change the amount you had. I happen to have a half a cup. So I add that in and then I'm gonna search some more. So next I'm gonna search for honey. Now I had raw honey and I could scan the barcode, but if I don't have that available, I can change it to what I need. No, I changed it to teaspoons and I had a full teaspoon. So you just move with your finger the toggles back and forth to one and it automatically gives the calories and everything else. Lastly, I wanna add in almonds. Now there's different kinds of almonds and I want to do it in the easiest way that I know how. I had some raw almonds, but I don't know what they mean by serving there. So let's go try a different one. Now the, here we go. I know that I had tablespoon and a half. Perfect, exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna add that in. And that was all I had for breakfast for today. So you can see there, 291. It was a little under my goal for breakfast, which means I get added a little bit extra either in snacks, dinner, lunch. And if you, same thing, if you do extra steps or you do exercise, it'll take that away as well. So going back to my day, I'm 1,201 calories under budget but I have the rest of the day 